Lightning fast, falls flat down the hill here as well now. Three kilometres to go here. Next roundabout again, says right-hand passage. That comes up with 2.5 k's to go now. You can already see a few riders who don't want to get involved in the mix have done their job there out, and they'll see everybody at the finish. This now is Luke Rowe bringing in the Grenadiers to the front. They again should be about protecting their general classification leaders. Rowe's done his job. Now it's up to Ganna to try and keep that position at the front. But Ganna himself, last year on this stage, was involved. Again, there's a few more biggish sprinters there, but it is an interesting finish, as we mentioned. This is the yeah, roundabout again, both see. sides. Uh, yep, be interested to see if uh, Filippo Ghana is feeling it today. He gets himself involved in the sprint. He was very non-committal about anything in his interview this morning. Hasn't been in his best form. It was a struggle at the start of the season so far, but only takes one good result to start really turning things around in your own head. As Geraint Thomas, job done, sits up. He's just here to make the miles, get some, some race rhythm going. And now it's DSM Furmanik, Postonel on the right-hand side, pushing forward with Kasper van Uden, led by John Degenkolb. Bart van Aert follows on with that uh, yellow jersey on left-hand side. He's moving up very, very quickly, and he's trying to get on the heels of those from Tudor Pro Cycling. Left and right, there's a real advance there, and it's strong out all of a sudden at a million miles an hour by Uno X. And up through the middle, we're coming Antomarche. Wanty with Gerbert Dessen as well, and he was using the shoulders to make his presence felt, coming right up through the centre and just behind Wild Van Aert there. So it looks like Van Aert is on the wheel of Matteo Trentin at the moment. Van Aert looks like he's getting involved, no doubt about it. Left turn coming up here as they come up towards the one kilometre to go banner. This time it is left hand side only. It's much clearer for everybody to look. And we've already got quite the small group coming in towards the Flam Rouge. There it is under the railway bridge. They go 1000 metres to the finish line. But they still have another roundabout chicane style to the right coming up now to navigate. Then that right turn in the uphill final 400 metres. Ado Marche are taking this one up now as they're well into this final kilometre. Roundabout on the right hand side now. Tudor Pro cycling are there. Wat van Aert follows in that yellow jersey. We've got riders up there wearing the jersey of EF Education. Easy pose of the crash on the right-hand side that's taken out at least one rider. Others may be following. Again, the GC riders know that's happened late. They will not have to worry. But here we go. They're through that chicane. 90-degree right-hand turn coming up now. Petit is on the right-hand side. And a reminder here that Gerben and the winner the other day, he's in third wheel and he's in the green jersey for the points classification. It's Petit. It's now Fouad who's there. It's going to be Trentin who might well have a go. Is it? No, it's Meyerhofer who's there. But look at Tessen who's going. You can see that Wout van Aert, Oliveira's there. It's Bissiger who's going to try for EF Education. Easy post. It's Tessen at the front. On the right hand side, Tudor aren't far away. But look at Wout van Aert move on the left. Wout van Aert is there. He hits the front and it's going to be Wout van Aert who gets his first victory of the season. All the pressure off before he goes back to Belgium. The questions will now have positive answers. And Wat van Aert is underway.